All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the IMAX Football Channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, smash that like button, share, and also subscribe. And if you're an avid fan of the channel, keep on doing that great work. We just decided that we're going to give you guys these information in shorter version videos. So at least most of you guys, when you do join the, the live streams, you can actually be informed on what's going on. So we're going to start with Junior Flemings. Uh, what's going on with Junior Flemings? And after you guys understand everything that we're going to put out, then um, let's let me know if you think he can make that turn around all right so let me just go to the detailing screen and just follow us by this point so junior flemings made a move to toulouse and his current market value sits at 400 000. he only played 25 minutes 25 26 minutes um in their first stint turning over um to the second t second stint which should be league one where in which you will be playing with the likes of Lionel messi neymar and mbappe at PSG, uh, PSG, I should say, um, it's much more difficult because you, you struggle to fit in in League Two. Um, it's going to be much more tougher to struggle to fit in in League One. You had um, Rafael, uh, Rafael from Brazil um, in that team playing as a winger, sensational, and his productivity was pretty much incredible. Then they brought Zakaria from AZ Almar um, in Netherlands to fill fill the void um, inside um, that wing position so um it makes it tough for um junior flemings um and he definitely struggled and th then they take they made some statement to say that um he's not getting up to speed um in time and those players came in and start firing so let me just go and give you the necessary information that the coach says first and then we we'll move on to the additional part so on friday they said um this friday morning junior flemings trained with the professional team of philly um, the Jamaican has been placed in the laugh this summer along with Sadebi, Seba and um, Tom. But the cards are turned down following the injury of Raphael. And that is the reason why we have to start asking you the question. We got somewhat of an answer, you know, but he still have an opportunity to turn things around. So Raphael, the Brazilian, is out for at least a month. So And Rice, um, one of the central forward that can play wing positions or attacking midfielder position. Certain places that Junior Flemings can occupy, both of them out. R Rice is my, more out for a long period maybe up to six months and um uh, and and uh, as what we talked about um um Raphael is out for a month so it, that's two vacant positions guys and we thought that okay this is the opportunity for Junior Flemings to really um take the massive advantage um of uh, at that time he the coach identified that Junior Flemings is doing certain things right but maybe he's not up to full speed as he stated here what was the date wrong arrived in January from the United States Flemings has only played 25 minutes um, in League 2 so far at the physical and and in the rhythm it's going quite well but there is a lot of competition this year, which you talked about those two personnel that came in. In my eyes, he's a little below or behind. All right. Um, Philippe Montenegro recently explained about him at the press conference. So simple means he, he might not be up to the speed of the other personnel. Them Raphael, which he had a very good season in League Two, and also um, Zachariah coming in from AZ, and he's already one of the young kids and from 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 europe that were dubbed as um wonder kids you know so it's hard for you to get over them all right no problem so after those guys um got injured rice and Raphael, we are saying that let me see if junior flemings will get that that's that spot even on the bench I am sad to say, before that, they normally go with um, a 4-2-3-1 or a 3-4-3 system. They have literally converted um, at this point um, to a 5-4-1 system to facilitate midfielders rather than actual natural wingers. Um, so, sad to say, um, Juna Flemings never made the bench yet again. 
So I don't know if it's, he never peaked enough last week for him not to make the bench. But um, we, are, we are going to be watching it. But we are still asking you the question if you think he can make the necessary turnaround. Just trying to give you the information and you guys decide. All right. For me, I think after seeing this and they go for these guys, obviously maybe those guys were just ahead of him in peaking. So that's why they jumped in those two spots. All right. And they can make a claim for themselves to even stay in those spots longer. Once Raphael and Rice comes back, they are going to be at least Raphael. Look at Raphael because he's on, only out for a month. Once he comes back, he's going to go straight back into the team. So at least one spot is there to fight for. So two personnel already occupy these spots after these injuries. So they are on that list with Junior Flemings for a spot. So let me know, guys. They have gotten the first nod and they have actually won a game in the um, League One. So it's it's looking tough for Junior Flemings. But let me know, guys. If you think he can make that turn around, smash the like button, leave your thoughts, share, and just look out for the next video coming very much shortly. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one.